Here we are at the last week before my meet in Lincoln, Nebraska, USAPL powerlifting. Being the last week before my powerlifting meet, this was somewhat of a taper week, or as much of a, t of a taper week you could have while also maxing out every day on the Bulgarian system. Early in the week, I acquired some moderate uh, side pain on my left side, and which I believe to be around my lat insert insertion uh, towards the bottom. And it really bothered me during my bench setup when I cranked down that left side to set up my arch. It didn't bother any of my lifts in the terms of it made them weaker, that it made me so I couldn't do as much. But it was, like I said, moderately painful. So I had been working on hitting my left lat really hard with self myofascial release, and it did get better throughout the week. And by the time my meat came up, I was wasn't bothering me at all. So. I was able to fix that with some very intense Seth myofascial release and also the taper where I didn't actually have to hit full max weights. So now I'm going to start talking about what I did for the uh, taper and I'm going to start with deadlift because that clip's coming up soon. Uh, so for deadlift for the taper I decided to work up to what I was thinking for around and open. I was really just going uh, testing out my hook grip and seeing how my upper back felt and when I got to this weight, I slightly lost my upper back and I figured that's where I'd stop for today. And I ended up opening a little bit lighter than this in the meet. And uh, stay tuned for the, the meat footage coming out here soon, as soon as I, after I finish this video and get it out. But back to the taper. So for deadlift, I worked up to a heavy single to test out my open. And uh, I did that on Monday with the meat being on Saturday, so I had plenty of time to recover. And then on Wednesday, I just worked up to my daily minimums for squat and bench even though that's I could have gone heavier I just stuck with the daily minimums and then Thursday I just worked up to 60 percent of those daily minimums to give myself an extra kind of half rest day I also wore what I consider to be my meat knee sleeves my SBD knee sleeves instead of the rebands I normally wear which you can see I'm wearing black and red knee sleeves instead of the blue ones I normally have uh, these are a lot tighter and the ones I wear during meets and are hopefully helping me squat slightly more. Uh, they're all, but they're just really annoying to have to put on and take off. So I only normally wear them during meets. It's also nice to go into a meet with possibly an extra, a few extra pounds on your squat. When and even if it's not actually giving me that, it's the mental aspect that I feel like I might get that. And you might notice that the quality for these videos for day four were slightly different than my normal videos and that's because I forgot my iPad and had to use my phone. So here I am on that Thursday just hitting 315 for squat and obviously it, it flew up and I really just videotaped it to check my depth and check the speed and also for this video um, and then 225 for bench so both of them were extremely easy I didn't wear knee sleeves or a belt even uh, for any of my lifts just because it was so light. Friday I just rested and f completed cutting my weight for a water cut and we drove up to Lincoln, Nebraska. I cut about 10 pounds purely using water manipulation and not even using a sauna. Weigh-ins were Saturday morning at 7 a.m. and then two hours later the meet started so stay tuned for the video on that. 